Hello guys. Welcome to our first part of our discussion on the material management. In this video, we will explore the basics of the material management including its definition, function and its importance in the various departments. We have already uh, covered the material management video in the January. Okay. But uh, we feel that uh, the video content was uh, very poor. So we again upload a new video. Okay. So that's why this video. So we will also cover the purchasing the systems, procedures and the key terms you need to know. So let's get started with an introduction to what material management is and why it is so crucial in any industry. So material management is a process of planning the organizing and controlling the flow of materials from the procurement to the final use. You can see in this screen also that uh, in any industry we see the the various type of product is already uh, in the structured format okay the main function include the procurement is the procurement storage the distribution of the materials it ensures that the right materials are available at the right time in the right quantity and at the right place also because so we can sort out the product when the customer need the specific product okay so this department play a crucial role in reducing the cost and avoiding the delays in the production. It is directly connected with the departments like the production, finance and the sales, ensuring the smooth workflow and coordination across the company. So now the purchase objectives also the purchasing system, procedure and terms. So purchasing is a critical function in the material management. The main objective are to buy materials of the right quality in the correct quantity at the best price from the right source and delivered at the right time. So there are different systems of purchasing such as the centralized and the decentralized purchasing. The procedure include the identifying the material need, selecting the supplier, the placing the order and ensuring the timely delivery like the Amazon. Okay. Various terms like the purchase order, requisition form and invoice are frequently used and the purchase department follows the standardized forms to maintain the efficiency. So now the storekeeping. So storekeeping involves managing the storage of the materials ensuring the, their safety and maintaining an accurate record of items. Stores can classify it into the centralized and the decentralized types. In a centralized system, all materials are stored in one location, offering a better control and reduce the duplication. But it can delay the material availability for the remote departments. Okay. Decentralized stores are located near the departments that use the materials, leading to the faster access, but potentially higher cost due to the duplication of effort. Both systems are used based on the organization's need. We can see in the real life also. Okay. So now the store's main function include the receiving, inspecting, storing and issuing the materials. It also maintains the record to ensure the smooth flow of the materials and to prevent the shortages or the overstocking. Common records include the stock register, the bean card, the goods, receipt notes. This The type of storage equipment used depends on the nature of the materials with the racks, the pallets, the beans being commonly used. So proper storage ensures the safe handling of the materials and makes them easy to locate when the need. Okay. So now the codification. Codification is the process of assigning a unique code to the each item in the store to ensure the easy identification and control. It helps in maintaining the records and avoiding the confusion between the similar items. Codification can be done using the different methods like the alphabetical, the numerical or the alphanumeric code, which we can uh, scan by the barcode scanner also. For example, the items in a store could be labeled, we can see in the screens. Okay. So, proper codification improves the efficiency and reduces the errors in the store management also okay so now this bring, brings us 
to the end of the part one of our video on the material management we have covered this the basics of the material management the purchasing systems the store keeping along with the how materials are coded and tracked in the part two we will dive into the inventory control the modern inventory models and the materials requirement planning so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for the more content like this so stay tuned for the part two where we will see the numerical examples also and the important numerical questions.